When they were first made, Dumoria appealed to many of those people who were so fabulously wealthy that mere money simply had no meaning. People like Mrs. Evelyn Walsh McLean. She was a woman of quite overwhelming wealth and a pleasant eccentric. Her trinkets included the Hope Diamond, the Star of the East, and the Star of the South. Today, that trio would probably fetch well over $10 million. But uh, her passion was for things electrical. She even joined the electrician's union so that she could rewire her own mansions. Her guests would find her up a ladder with a pair of pliers in her hand, wearing her union badge, clipped to the Hope Diamond. Hers was the age of Du Maurier, when price was the last thing that counted. And then, as now, mere money could never buy finer. 